The way that I model feelings and emotions is on myself and on her. So whenever you're really happy, um, you can tell them that you're happy. You can be like, mom's happy now. Mommy is really happy now. Yay, mom, or whatever you call yourself to them, right? You can do this whenever you're frustrated or mad too. So if you, whatever word you use for it. So if you say I'm frustrated, then that's the button you would add. If you say I'm mad, that's the button you would add, if that makes sense. But you can model this whenever you are having those feelings. You just have to name that feeling so they know that that's you're showing that you're frustrated right now. Of course, you can model happy, sad, frustrated, any of those feelings for your dog whenever you catch them in the moment and you can tell that they feel that emotion. I feel like it's really easy with happy because, you know, you can tell if your dog is really more happy than normal. So that's whenever you would say like happy or yay or any of those type of things, whatever words you want to use. Um, and frustrated is pretty easy too because typically you're going to know when your dog is frustrated barking and seems you know like maybe they might have some big feelings you can really tell whenever your dog is feeling those feelings by their body language and then you can model that word at that time body language is always going to be really important but you can really use that to figure out what words that they might want to use too it's also really important to use the words that you naturally will say so if you would not say frustrated then don't add frustrated add whatever word you would use for that it can be anything it doesn't matter your dog knows what you tell them they're not hearing things you know what i mean they're not talking to other people so it doesn't matter if it's a silly word that you use <laughs> It doesn't even matter if it's a real word. If it's something you use whenever you're upset and they're going to know that means they're upset, give them that word. I wrote a talking dog quick start book. And so this can start before you have buttons, but it also goes over everything just like at the beginning too. Like whenever you're learning to model words like this, placement, different things like that. So that might be helpful for y'all. That is linked in my bio on my link tree right now. Um, and you'll see it, just click the shop tab and it's right there at the top. I think that's the first thing. So I hope that that helps. I'm